Hi children, welcome to grade 4 English and this is our session 1 in chapter number 10, a lesson for kings. And today, before getting into our story, let's learn some new words. Partiality, to favor or to choose one over another. If you are favoring someone or choosing someone over another person, we call it as partiality. Accomplished, expert or skilled. Righteousness, goodness, honesty. Seized, ended or finished. Equity, when you are treating someone with fairness and justice, that is equally. We call this equity. Litigation. Legal action or case. Buzzle. Excited activity or movement. When you are very happy or when you are in excitement, the movement we make. We call it as buzzle. Tumult. Confusion or disorder. When you are in a great confused stage, we call it as tumult. Sought. Attempted to find. Renown. Famous. Renown. Famous. Chariot. A two-wheeled vehicle drawn by horses. Chariot. A two-wheeled vehicle drawn by horses. Nuns. For once. For one time. Nuns. Charioter. A chariot driver. Wickedness, being evil or morally wrong. Precipitous, dangerously high or steep. Stingy, not ready to spend or give. Hearken, listen. Alighted, exited. Alighted, exited. And children, I hope you are clear with all the new words. And now we are moving on to the did you know part. The Buddha founded an order of monks and nuns known as the Sangha and they have preserved the Buddha's teachings to the present day. And with 500 million followers, Buddhism is the fourth largest religion in the world. And the lesson we are going to learn from this story is righteousness and equality are necessary in our daily acts or behavior. Righteousness and equality are necessary in our daily acts or behavior. Righteousness means being justice. And equality means treating everyone equally. These two are the acts we should follow in our day-to-day -day life. And that is what we are going to learn from the story. And now let's read the story. A lesson for kings. Once upon a time, when Brahmadatta was reigning in Banaras, the future Buddha returned to life as his son and heir. And when the day came for choosing a name, everyone called him Prince Brahmadatta. He grew up in due course when he was 16 years old. He went to Takshashila and became accomplished in all the arts. After his father died, he ascended the throne and ruled the kingdom with righteousness and equity. He gave judgments without any partiality, hatred, ignorance or fear to the people. He thus reigned with justice, while his ministers also administered the law with justice. Lawsuits being thus decided with justice, there were none who brought false cases in that kingdom. And as these ended, the noise and tumult of litigation ceased in the king's court. And though the judges sat all day in the court, they had to leave without anyone coming for justice. It came to this that the hall of justice would have to be closed. And here in this picture, you can see Brahmadatta ministers and few people in Brahmadatta's court. Then the future Buddha thought, it cannot be from my reigning with righteousness that none come for judgment. The bustle has ceased 
and the hall of justice will have to be closed i must therefore now examine my own faults and if i find that anything is wrong with me put that away and practice only virtue here brahmadatta wanted to find the fault in himself and he wanted to correct it and put that away and from that day onwards he sought out for someone who could tell him his faults but among those around him he found that no one would tell him his faults and all he heard was his praise he thought it is from the fear of me that these men speak only good and not the evil things and he sought among those people who lived outside the palace finding no fault finder there he sought among who those lived outside the city in the suburbs there to finding no one to find fault and hearing only his own praise he determined to search the countryside so he handed over the kingdom to his ministers and mounted his chariot and taking only his chariot and chariot left the city in disguise and searching the country through up to the very boundary that is still the end he found no fault finder and heard only of his own virtue so he turned back from the outermost boundary and returned by the high road towards the city and now at that time the king of kosala called malliha by name was also ruling his kingdom with righteousness and when seeking for some fault in himself he also found no fault finder in the palace but only heard of his own virtue so seeking in the countryside he too came to that very spot where brahmadatta was the two came face to face in a low court track with steep sides where there was no space for a chariot to get out of the way then the chariot of mallika the king said to the chariot of king of banaras take your chariot out of the way but he said take your chariot out of the way o chariot in this chariot is riding the king of banaras the great king brahmadatta yet the other replied in this chariot is riding the king of kosala the great king malliga take thy chariot out of the way and make room for the chariot of our king and children i hope you are clear with all the new words did you know on the first part of the story what we have seen today right and home assignment for today's session read chapter number 10 a lesson for kings new words did you know and first part of the story thoroughly and after that you have to read the story thoroughly and answer the given questions that is in practice zone 1 question number 1 who was prince brahmadatta and second question what kind of ruler was he write lines from the story to support your answer third one why did prince think that the hall of justice would have to be closed and fourth whose advice did the king of banaras first seek to find out whether he had any faults and children I hope you are clear about today's session and drink more water eat healthy food reduce your screen time don't use mobile phone and television often stay home and stay safe children thank you so much